Hey everybody. Me and my brother Joe decided to go hunting on New Year's Day. We're sitting right about there. Came over to our friend Jeremy's house. He's got some nice property back there behind him. It's family land. Our plan was to kill some does. Just cull some from the herd. Put a little meat in the freezer. We got here about an hour before Jeremy. He was smart. We were just sitting around. Thought we needed a lot of time to cut down some cedar branches and make a blind. But we ended up just sitting around, looking around, watching the clouds go by. Well, headed out to meet up with John Luke and Joseph Harden on the little Anthony Plantation extravaganza. They've been out there for about an hour and a half warming it up for me. I'm about to sneak around here, see if I can get up there with them. They should be down in that bottom. Sneak around this pathway here. Ease through this hay field. Let's see if I can come up on them. I got the wife back at the house. She's gonna sit out the drone. Let's see if I can bring it up. Do this little scouting on the outskirts. Stay tuned. Jeremy controlling the drone for us, scouting the perimeter. That area over to the left has been logged uh, a few years ago, I guess. Allowed a lot of undergrowth to come up. Made a great bedding area. Right in this corner here, Joe said there's a salt block and he's got a camera there. He said they spend a lot of time there before they come out in the field in the evening. There we are. So we're thinking about four o'clock. They're gonna come out of that field to the right through the tree line and end our field. We'll see. Frazier is the crane that um, comes to my pond. He eats my bluegill, the baby ones, and the minnows.
they're probably gonna held up with the salt. It's like 15 yards into the thicket. Sometimes they stay there for a long time. I'll get pictures of them forever. So as soon as I changed the battery out on my GoPro, deer came out. They came out right where we thought they would. I'm moving too fast. just want to get my camera set back up Joe keeps complaining I'm moving too fast Three of them. The furthest ones on the, the little ones are on the right. Go with shoot the three to the left. Jeremy, you shoot the middle one. Jeremy, you shoot the far left. Jeremy, you shooting the one looking at us. Yeah. I got that one. Did you get one? I, I 
we hit one of those. Let's wait, let's wait. I hit that one on the dead run. You did? Yes. Huh? Let's wait, because I think one of those is hit. Well, I kind of messed up everything. I didn't get the memo on the countdown before I shot. And also, I ended up aiming at the same deer that Joe was aiming at. Which was the middle one. In this shot, there was a deer to the right that's not in the frame here. I was thinking the far left of the three that were out in the field. That deer's going to come running up here in a second. Anyway, I think this middle one was shot three times. Me, Joe, and then later on Jeremy, I think, shot it. As I'll show in the video. I ended up having to gut that deer. It was messy. Anyway, I kind of messed up. Caused some chaos. But it was fun. Here comes this other deer in just a second. It spooked me. I was like, oh crap. I was looking through my scope. I see this other deer running in. I'm like, crap. They're spooked. I better get going. <laughs> so I started shooting. Looking at us. Whoa, that was cool. Now let's see if we can figure out what happened to the two deer that ran over to the right side. How much yours is cooler? Jeremy, you shoot the one looking at us. coming out of his gun. Well, you can see the dirt fly from the bullet on the two that Joe shot that were running to the right. I, we hit one of those. I don't know if he hit one of those. That's Maybe he did, wait. and we just couldn't find it. You did? Yes. Huh? Let's wait, because I think one of those is hit. <laughs> we got the third one. I knew. That's a good one. See, I, I, I knew we had oh, to have. Claim, but 
I was thinking that this one was the one was mine that I was shooting at. Because I remember just seeing one of my scope go back in, dude. Yeah. But I, I don't know that. We'll see, but. Because I shot kind of late. Well, I shot first. Yeah. And I think and Joe I shot. And right I, didn't see, I didn't see it down or I didn't know what. Dude, that made it. That made the tree out. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> That's awesome. Uh, there you Where's he I'm at? I'm glad we come to see talking and decided to come back around. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I figured that one of them had, one of them first ones we shot had to run this way because yeah, I know that's what I, I saw one or two dart back into the woods over here. I can't wait to watch that video. <laughs> there he is, way out there. I guess we can just walk that way. And get yeah. To... Oh, you want it? Yo! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let me get the sunset. <laughs> yeah, I need to mark that. Right in that. Right those first big trees there. Yeah. They didn't even jump the fence. Make a new one. As soon as I change the battery out, they pop out of the woods. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I saw y'all kind of tussling. I was like, I, need, I want to put I this GoPro one back on. Stick out. <laughs> there is a third one. There's the big one. I think it's the big one, dude. We'll have to see that. We'll, we'll do some analysis. <laughs> we'll do some analysis and see. <laughs> but that's... When we're over here, we're talking about, like, I was telling them, like, two went this way, two dropped, and then two went back in. And that's one, like, after y'all shot, I saw the scope going back in. Did you see it land? It's right there. Yeah. We were over here, and we're like, hey, we're going to walk back over there. We were talking about some more ran in back over this way. Yeah, good thinking. And then I didn't we see nothing over there. We get about halfway by, oh man, they probably didn't the run this thing far. Is just and then John looks like. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Played in the tree. Let's go get the tree. There might be a fault in this. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Awesome. I hope uh, they were in frame of your camera. No, well, I, don't, I only had my camera towards where they were standing when the first shot went off. They didn't even go that far. I mean, those three. I knew I that I had hit. Either, yeah. I knew it was just you shot. Your you didn't do a countdown. Most of it up. Because yeah, that's true. <laughs> you didn't do a countdown, so we're me and Jimmy were rushing. Started the countdown. <laughs> Be like, screw this, boom! <laughs> there was there was some more deer in the woods too. I could see movement back oh, yeah. there with my binoculars. I didn't even have my gun for the longest. That's all right. It'll at least. I mean, there's a lot. Of so, but who knows? It could have been above a quarter sun. <laughs> Genetics for a button buck. They were sticking out there pretty big. We said we were gonna do it. I really didn't think we all pretty good a shot. <laughs> well, I guess it all come out. I knew much. they all. They, I knew they always come out in group. That's why I was telling him I was mad. Try to shoot. That's probably the same group that came out when I killed my bug. Here, coming up off this side. There's actually two, but there's a really big group that comes around. Yeah, I saw that group after I killed that weird buck. 
There was like, yeah. it looked like 15 or 20 right there. I guess it was maybe uh, Monday morning. They were all over here behind the garage. They were just like, you just felt like it. Her just running through when I started up the truck. We might want to take a circle around that way just to see if there's anything dead and over there on the edge. Could you? I mean, we almost got four. I think I see something. No, that ain't nothing. All right. Three deer. That was easy work when you don't have to drag. Yeah. You don't have to drag a deer. I guess you don't have to field dress them either. We can do it. I mean, unless you want to just put. No, I don't mind just driving there. That won't be. How long does it take? Uh, from my minutes. house, it's like 20 minutes. And it's $20 just to have them. It's like, yeah, 20, if you donate it, all you do is pay $20 to oh. feel good. But if you're gonna have If you're gonna eat it, $75 for 